January, guys. It is the end of the month. So you know what time it is. It is time to talk about some money. So guys, we are going to go over my April paychecks. Now, before we can go over April, we need to look at the previous month, which is my birthday month, March. So guys, here's my March schedule. Now, I did pick up a couple of trips and you will see that. But let's just go over it real quick. So you see I have two days off, four day block. Now guys, REA is 12.01 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is my reserve type, okay? So anytime you see that, that is when I am on reserve. And this is when a company can use me at their discretion. So two days off here, the 8th and the 9th, six day reserve block. And then you see I picked up a two day to rally. Then I start a five day reserve block, picked up a trip, day off, three day block, and then for the rest of the month, I had off. So you can see from March, with the two trips that I did pick up, 15.16 is my credit in block, year to date, 83 hours and 31 minutes, days off, nine. All right, so guys, so this is the blank schedule. So let's see what my final schedule looks like. All right, guys, and so we're going to do a side by side from my blank schedule to the final schedule in March. So remember the second and third I had off, second and third I did have off. Then the fourth through the seventh, I started a four day reserve black period. And you can see here guys on the fourth, I was on reserve. The fifth guys and the sixth, I did pick up a two day to the ATL. All right, so you could tell because I started on the fifth in Atlanta, the sixth, I did return to Denver. And then the seventh, I was on reserve and was not used. Okay, the 8th and the ninth, guys, I am off. And then here, the 8th and the ninth, I am truly off. And then the 10th through the 15th, I started a 6-day reserve block, which is the most difficult. So the 10th and the 11th, I was on reserve and was not used. The 12th through the 15th, I did pick up a 4-day. As you can see, the 12th and the 13th, I was in uh, Minneapolis, 14th, Fort Myers, and then the 15th. I returned back to Denver. Okay, I was off the 16th. The 17th, I did pick up a two-day to rally. That's where I had a 24-hour layover. So 17th, I was in rally. The 18th, I did return back to Denver. The 19th, I was off. The 20th through the 24th, guys, I started a five-day reserve block. So the 20th, guys, I did ready reserve A, which is 5 a.m. to 11 a.m., and you can be extended by two hours. The 21st and 22nd, this is a trip that was given to me by Cruise Scheduling. It had a small layover in Phoenix. And then you can see the 23rd, I did RSB, which is B couch from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And again, you can be extended by two hours. And then guys, on the 24th, I bid it for a turn. Now guys, the 25th and the 26th, where my days off and you can see on the 25th I did pick up a turn so 26 I was off now the 27th through the 29th I did start a three-day reserve black period and here on the 27th 28th and 29th I did pick up a three-day with a double layover in Vegas so the 27th I was in Vegas 28th Vegas and then you can see the 29th, I returned back to Denver. And then the last two days, I was off the 30 and the 31st. So that is how I finished March. So these are my final numbers. In a month of March, my block was 5540, credit 7824, year to date 211 hours and 25 minutes, and I was off nine days. So not bad, but let's take a look at those paychecks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at that first paycheck here on the 5th of April. All right, you see the amount, guys, $1,171.52. I was a thousandaire, all right? The pay period, I was paid on the 5th for 37 and a half hours. Okay, earnings. F9, FA tips, zero. Year to date, 60 cents. FA time and a half is on a second check, zero. LTD imputed. 389 guys is what they gave me non taxable per diem so remember any trip that i have with a layover that is the money i am making the per diem which is $2.05 for every hour that i'm away from base 
And you can see the amount, $440.79. Look at the year to date, $1,200, not bad. Parking pass, that is on the second check. Perfect attendance is every six months. A regular guarantee, guys, is my base of 26.78 times 37 and a half hours because we get paid uh, 75 hours a month, so break it up semi-monthly. So that's 1,004, 25 cents. Regular pay, guys, is on a second check. Taxable per diem. So any trip, guys, like a turn, or basically a trip where I don't have a layover, or I'm not in a hotel room, let me say. So that's not bad. So that is the taxable per diem. And there are my deductions, guys. So remember, dental, I pay for a higher plan of dental. Usually it is free. Traditional PPO is my insurance. I pay a lot for insurance that I'm not even using, to be honest with you. Okay, union dues, 25. Vision plan is free. And you guys can see the taxes there. Okay, so that is how I did on my first check on the 5th. Now let's look at the second one. And let's take a look at that second paycheck. All right, there's the amount paid on 420 for 5328. Those are the hours. Now let's look at it. Oh wow, tips, I got 75 cents, okay? So that's year to date, 135. Time and a half, nothing. LT, LTD imputed, 389. Non-tax per diems on the first check. Wow, over 75, guys. I barely made it. $91.05. Parking pass, $36 a month. Perfect attendance every six months. Regular guarantee time, $331.54. Regular pay, I know that's my base pay. That must be the hours I want outside of my 75. Must be overtime, I'm not sure. Uh, taxable per diem, first check. Deductions, guys, you can see those good deductions here. Nothing has changed. Okay, taxes. Huh. I'd be paying a lot of taxes, but I also owe. All right, guys, and this is the second check in April. So I was a thousandaire on both checks. But guys, as you will see, as the months go by, you will see that my money is going to increase because I get a pay raise on the 15th of May. And also your girl has been picking up, so you would definitely notice a difference. But as of right now, guys, I am semi-broke, but still I rise.